Hello, this is Emma of Emma Live Yoga and welcome to this 10 minute class, Yoga for Health. So yoga is a wonderful tool that helps to improve the health of our minds, our bodies and our emotional well-being and uh, creates really a connection between those points of awareness uh, so that generally we can feel a little better. So coming to a comfortable seated position, you may wish to have some bricks or some supports to hand. I'm bringing the hands to Anjali Mudra. We'll begin with the vibration of Om. Take a breath in. Om. And then gently bow the head and take a few moments to check in and see how you feel in your body, your mind and your emotions. And begin to feel an awareness of the breath, which links all of these aspects of self. You may wish to set a seed of intention for your practice. And then take a deeper breath in. And exhale, release the hands down. So take the hands to a crossed over position, one arm over the other, doesn't matter which. And then from here, inhale, float the left arm up, and then exhale to thread it through. And again, inhale, float the left arm up, the gaze can follow the fingertips, exhale to thread it through. We'll do one more. Inhale, float the arm up, and exhale to thread it through. Change in sides, change the cross of the arms, that's it. Inhale, float the right arm up, exhale to thread it through. And again, transit tall, inhale, float the arm up, exhale to thread it through. Last one, inhale, float the arm up, exhale to thread it through. Good, from here, release the arms, inhale, take the arms out to shoulder height, exhale, do a few circles forward, and then inhale, exhale, do a few circles back. Good, and then press the hands back, change the cross of the legs. From here, inhale, swoosh the arms up. Exhale, press the right hand down a nice way over. We're going to change sides, squeeze the pelvic floor, inhale, press up to lift. Exhale, nice, easy sway over. We'll do this once more to each side. Inhale to lift, waking up the body. Exhale to sway up, release, in beginning to release some tensions. Inhale to lift up, exhale to sway over. Good, inhale, reach both arms up, nice big reach. And then exhale, circle the wrist down and then shake it out. Lovely, so from here, we'll come to an all fours position. If you need some support for your knees, please do have that in place. So from here, and just take a few moments to stabilize. Inhale, exhale, and just feel the hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. From here, inhale, belly dips, shoulders draw back, gaze lifts. On the exhale, tuck the tailbone and round all the way back towards the heels. Inhale, come forward, stay low, squeeze the elbows in, chest and gaze lifts. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, round back, and just take it to wherever feels best. We've got one more. Inhale, coming forward, power combination. Exhale to tuck under, sink it back. Then inhale, come through to tabletop, tuck the toes. Exhale, push back, walk the feet as wide as the mat, inhale. Exhale, walk the hands as wide as the mat. So nice wide angle down the door. Really lengthening back. Keep the breath flowing evenly through the nostrils. Feel that extra stretch maybe through the legs. Just creating some space there. And then inhale, walk the hands back towards the feet, and bend the knees. Exhale, squat it down either to the halfway point, hands into prayer position, or all the way down as we come into Malasana. If you want to perch on a brick or two, that's another option. So you might be high up, low, or perched, wherever you are, stay happy, look straight ahead as you connect with the breath. Sit tall, that's it. Lift the chest forward, lift through the crown of the head. Feel that release through the thighs, the groin and the lower back. From here, inhale, bring the right fingertips down. Exhale, float the left arm up halfway or all the way as you look to that left side or even the fingertips. 
Steady breathing. Inhale, bring the left hand down. Exhale, right arm comes up. Now you can do this from the halfway point as well. Just rest the arm on the thigh. Good, and then inhale back to Malasana, sit tall. And then exhale, walk it out. We're coming to a plank position. So walking out into a full plank or a knees down plank. You can have the feet together or apart. Tuck the tailbone slightly as you squeeze the glutes. Push away from the shoulder blades as you breathe and hold. So you've got a slight pike position, but not too high. Good, breathing and feeling. Then inhale, bring the left heel down. Exhale, step through with the right leg. Inhale, lift it up into warrior one, Virabhadrasana A. Exhale, try and make sure the hips are level facing forward. Nice, easy breathing. And just feel that opening through the left hip flexor. That's it, press weight through the back heel. Good, then inhale, swim the arms back. Interweave the fingers, exhale. Roll the shoulders forward, then inhale, lift the chest, maybe lift the arms. Exhale, begin to fold forward in front of that right knee. Maybe a little bit, maybe continuing. Maybe releasing the head as you sink right shoulder to the inside of the knee, floating the arms up to wherever feels best. Steady breathing. Make sure the right hip doesn't sway over, keep it centrally aligned. And then staying low, unclasp the hands, bring the hands down, give it on the back foot as we arrive in a lunge position. Left hand can be on the floor or on a brick or block. Inhale, float the right arm up, nice open twist. If you need to bring the knee down, that's an option. Listen to your breath, that will tell you everything you need to know. If you're working too hard, it will become ragged, so make sure the breath is the main focus. And exhale, swim this arm down, we're coming back to plank on knees down plank. So inhale, step it back. Exhale, just hold here again for a breath. We continue to work the health of the mind connected to the body, a little bit of resilience. Bring the right heel in, inhale, step through with the left leg, or Virabhadrasana A, exhale. Inhale, lifting it up. If it's preferable, you can keep the hands on the hips, try and draw that left hip back, good, as you lift the chest, look straight ahead. Breathing and feeling. Nice, bend to the front knee. Lift in the back inner thigh. From here, inhale, swim the arms back again, interweave the fingers, maybe take the opposite interweave, you might have to think about that a little bit. Roll the shoulders forward, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, humble warrior, so fold into wherever is best. Keep weight in that front heel and the back heel. Folding down, wherever feels reasonable in your body. Breathing, feeling, keep a squeeze of mula bandha, the pelvic floor. Let go of the head, relax the neck, and then exhale. Bring the hands down on clasp, pivot on the back foot, back to the open twist. Inhale, sink into Andhani Asana. Exhale, float the left arm up or bring it to the hip. Try and push out through the back heel, lift the back kneecap as best you can. Remember, you can bring your knee down if this feels a bit too much. That's it. Make wise choices. Good. So lift the drusty to the fingertips or look straight ahead or down. And exhale, bring the arm back down, step back into your plank position. Exhale, lower knees down or up all the way to the belly. From here, we come into cobra. Inhale, slide the elbows forward, exhale. Inhale, lift the chest as you roll the shoulders back and down. Good, point the toes straight back, try to switch the glutes off. Look straight ahead. Breathing into the open heart space, feeling the challenge of the speaking. The fingers kind of helps you get a bit more uplift. That's it, but don't tense the glutes. And then exhale as we sink it down. From here, hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lift back to your tabletop, tuck the toes. Exhale, push it back into downward dog. Take a breath or two here. Maybe feel that gradual rising of warmer energy. This is the prana, which brings health to body and mind and our emotional life. We feel this integration of the practice. On the inhale, make your way down to seated. And step, jog or jump. From this position, cross the arms behind the back for Pada, um, Pada Padmasana. If you want to take a half lotus or full lotus, be my guest. I'm doing this from a cross leg, or you can stretch the legs out. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, just begin to hinge forward and fold forward to your own measure. 
find the breath. Tuck the chin in. Be aware of your knees, any pain in the knees, and please stretch the legs out. Don't go so low. Otherwise, if this feels easy for you, you can fold all the way down if you wish. Sending the breath out into the hips. And then squeeze the pelvic floor, inhale to lift it back up. Exhale. From here, release the hands, bring the soles of the feet together for Baddha Open the feet like the pages of a book, sit tall, inhale. Exhale and just release the chin to the chest. This is a variation. Opening the feet helps you to open the hips, that's it. So the arms are really active. We've also got a nice neck release here. Steady the breath. And then inhale, lift the gaze up. Exhale, release the feet. From here, we'll make our way down to semi supine position. So laying on the back. Walk the feet underneath the knees or forward if the knees open the palms of the hands. As you arrive, take an inhale. And big exhale. Look through the mouth. From here, you can slide into Shavasana or rest position of choice. Allow the eyes to close as we let go entirely, allowing the energy we've created. In just 10 minutes of practice, we can achieve so much in terms of our well-being. So resting here for a short time. If you wish to stay longer, please do just pause the book, uh, pause the video. Otherwise, begin to deepen the breath. Bring in some movements, fingers and toes as you move the head slowly from side to side. And then inhale as you reach up and back. Full body stretch. And exhale to release. Bending at the knees and elbows, draw the knees into the belly for a gentle squeeze and a gentle rock from side to side until you can roll over to one side. Pause here for a moment. Maybe plant a seed of gratitude, anything you're grateful for. Maybe it's the feeling after your practice. And then making your way through to a comfortable seated position. And tall, lengthening the spine, lifting the heart space, bring the hands to Anjali Mudra. Gently bow the gaze as we give thanks for our health and our practice. Always cultivating this healthy regard for ourselves in the form of gratitude. Inhale, lift the prayer hands up. Exhale to center. Namaste. So thank you for practicing with me in this Yoga for Health class. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press the like button. Do subscribe for our many classes coming up. Take care.